Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you so much for watching this video. Today we have a Cinema 4D and Adobe Photoshop tutorial for you guys and I'm going to be creating uh, some highlights on some text as you can see in this preview here. Uh, we've got some standard 3D text that was created in the Cinema 4D and these highlights going on the text were just created in Photoshop uh, for some secondary effects. This obviously is perfect for backgrounds, YouTube backgrounds, banners. Uh, everything like that. Uh, good just to put your name, you know, it makes um, it stand out a lot more and add a lot more professionality to your work as opposed to just some standard, just some standard 3D text, you know, especially if you're going to go for the glossy kind of look. I think it works perfectly. Uh, so then anyway, without further ado on the intro, we'll get started. We're going to jump straight into Cinema 4D. Uh, we're going to uh, be just staying here just because I know that a lot of people say I can't do this, I can't do that. So I'm going to be running you through from the very beginning, well not the very beginning, but uh, from the beginning within reason uh, to which you can understand obviously I've just gone to some mo text create some text from mo graph mo text and I've just changed the depth to 150 for now and I've just added a camera uh, that looks straight on onto the text simple as you like uh, so we'll go ahead I'm going to add a few textures first I'm going to add is going to be black so let's go and make it black I'm uh, going to go to reflection I'm going to change the reflection down to about 20 ish percent and add a texture and go to Fresnel like so and we'll change this down to about 30 like so finally we'll add a specular to really lower down the width to something about around 10% and gonna increase the height to around 80 ish mark I'm gonna use 83 for this uh, so that all done we're gonna go to control or command and drag I'm gonna make a copy of that and we'll just change the color from black to a nice teal color blue as you may have seen in the preview something like that looks good there we go and let's go ahead and take off the camera view and now uh, we'll add these both to the text so we'll add the black first not that way around the black first contradicting myself right there and the, finally the blue second and obviously you want the we want the blue to show on the top face so on the blue tag up here we're saying selection and we'll type c1 making sure the C is actually a capital C and see this just apply to the front of the text and obviously you can't actually see the black because the whole background is black um, but nevertheless be assured that it is actually 3D uh, one last thing maybe add some caps so go to fillet cap and fillet cap increase the steps to 5 and radius to 3 and just have the exact same properties 5 and three there we go so we really get some reflections going on this text which will really help amplify all of the uh, secondary effects in Photoshop with the highlights um, so I've looked through now and for render as you see there we've got some okay okay it kind of looks uh, so go ahead now and to really get some reflections I like to use some planes obviously I'm not gonna go too in-depth with lighting and everything because uh, that isn't the main purpose of this tutorial but nevertheless this will work perfectly for this and uh, make a new texture, untick color, take luminance, and that is it. Drag it on to that plane that we just made at the top. Right click on the plane, Cinema 4D tags, comp composition in, <laughs> and just go to see untick the scene by camera option. So now if we look at it and render, you'll see that the, the plane is not there and it's starting to bring out some highlights on the top of the text. Uh, so it's going to untick from that and we'll go control C and control V on the plane make another copy and we'll just drag that underneath and you should be able to see some highlights uh, coming off on the bottom of the text uh, so this obviously gives a nice look going on so we can maybe add a few lights now if you say you make a light here and drag it out and up maybe have a look at it now see if that means a bit more brightness there we go that's looking good you know for exactly what we're going to be creating that is fine because you know the second effect really kind of you know, get rid of the whole boring factor to this and um, so we'll go ahead and I'm just gonna line up I'm not actually in the middle so I'm gonna do my very best to get it centered there we go I think that's pretty much centered we'll go ahead and have a look yep yeah, that's okay uh, in my eyes uh, so we're going to go to render, edit render settings, and then change your output 1280, 1280 by 720. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to reposition it again. Uh, I'm going to call this um, hey, 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 hey. just uh, just so it appears top of um, when I'm trying to import it into Photoshop. 
Uh, so AA on a desktop is fine for me. Make sure I've got alpha channel ticked and PNG just so you've got no background there. And you can add global illumination. I'm gonna, not going to be uh, bothered for this. Uh, but you know, if it adds more realistic lighting for you, go ahead and use it. So I'm just going to use Shift R. And as you see, here it is rendered. So in Photoshop, Command O. And on the desktop, we're just going to go to AAA. And there we have it. Make a new layer. Drag it below. And I'm going to fill this in with a black. There we go. In fact, I'm going to go to gradient overlay. And go to radial. Reverse it. And I'm going to change the white to a dark grayish kind of color. There we go. And increase the scale all the way up to 150. And the angle to zero. And there we have it. Got a nice grid. And you'll be able to see uh, the outer shadow, outer glow rather that we're going to add now. So I just went into blending options, blend mode to normal, and a color to black. There we go. And crank up the size quite a lot. And maybe even the past it as well. Why not? All the way. And there we go. So that's a little bit big. So I'm just going to scale it down just a tad. There we go. So that's okay. We've got the nice text, and obviously the main part of the tutorial is adding the highlights. So to do this, I'm going to make a new layer, and first of all, I'm going to make sure the brush is how I want. Um, uh, for me, I actually use the size 3 pixels and the hardness 100%. So I'm just going to zoom in, and I'm going to start on the H, go to the pen tool. I'm going to hold shift for this because it's a right angle, so it's going to be uh, completely straight. I'm going to click there, and obviously in the top corner of the text, and go along. I'm going to go right to the end. And I'll right click on that, go to stroke path. And obviously it's going to be the same brush. This so I want the brush beforehand to be how you want it. And I'm going to simulate pressure while we're there. And I'm just going to delete and delete, delete the, both path. And I'm just going to go into uh, the blending the, the blending options for the whole layer. So we're going to add a color overlay. And the color we're going to add is white. And we're going to add, I'm going to be using the outer glow and the drop shadow. So the outer glow, we're just going to go and change the blend mode to normal. And I'm going to change the color, a nice blue color for the blue text. Something like this, increase the size quite dramatically and the spread as well. Like so. Maybe decrease the opacity to something like 40. In fact, like 50 would do. Okay. And then you can maybe add a drop shadow, change the blend mode to normal yet again, the color to white. Decrease the distance all the way to zero and just increase the size and the spread. This was quite an ice orbulent glow around it, make it a lot more realistic. You can do this with a brush as well, but uh, this is a lot easier and it probably means you can stay within reason so you don't go completely off the text in any other way. And um, as you see, this is a right angle, you know, it will stop there and go in just a bit as opposed to just a round circle. Um, so that's okay. We'll go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. Obviously, you can edit the uh, layer styles. Uh, alternatively, that's how you want. And so that's pretty much it. We'll make a new layer now, and you can maybe do whatever you want. Uh, say we want it on the O, and there, and up there. And, you know, just get the nice curve. That was bad because I just ran into my TV. <laughs> um, Make sure it kind of fits. You want it to look as realistic as possible. So that's okay. And I'm going to stroke path. Okay and delete them and delete both paths and you know if you just go on the original one go copy layer style and onto the one we just created to paste layer style you allow for the same layer style and that is pretty much it and that's how you get it all around the text obviously you can do the lines to wherever you want uh, one final thing that you maybe can do is just say you're here and uh, maybe soften up the touch just a tad by going into the brush I've got mine on uh, about 70 odd pixels and just erase the edges just a tad just so it's less harsh like so and then finally on this one and that is looking good you know that maybe give more of a highlight effect as opposed to a clean cut and you can maybe lower the opacity down to about 80 percent as well that's what i did on the uh, preview that you saw just a second ago and that is basically it that's how to create some really nice highlights on some text guys um, so um, I'll be, obviously if this helped you, please remember to like the video, maybe comment 
Uh, if you've got any problems, comment, you know, I'll, I might be there to help you. If not, I'm sure there'll be someone else uh, watching this video uh, that maybe have the same problem as you that may have fixed it or may know what the solution is. Uh, so anyway, I've been Connor with Chrome Designs. Thank you so much for watching this video. I uh, do hope you learned something uh, in some way or another. Uh, but I'm going to cut it off there. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.